At week 18, your baby is now the size of a cup of coffee. Oh. That's a big cup of coffee. That is a big cup of coffee. Welcome back to Womb Wednesday, a weekly vlog where we uh, talk to you about our current pregnancy and see what my book, A Dude's Guide to Baby Size, has to say about this current week of pregnancy <laughs> and the journey that it is. Um, first, let's get some business done here. We got to give away an audiobook version of it from a commenter from the last video. So if you want to win an audiobook, comment on this video. But this last week's winner is Olivia Powell. Olivia Powell. Olivia Powell. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. She is also pregnant. So she can, she and her husband can listen to this and uh, drink it all in. Mm. <laughs> How are you feeling, Heidi? Let's update on you. Okay, well, we're talking about eight, week 18. Uh, I, I feel okay. I actually, I got a new gym membership Ooh. last week. So I've gone to the gym. Get it, girl. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> but, uh, you know, pregnancy comes with all of its things. So... Uh, I feel dizzy. I'm super congested still. Um, I uh, can tell you why you feel dizzy because I just reread this chapter. Oh, it's really? because uh, the baby is currently requiring more blood. So oh. there's a lot more blood flow going to the baby, which means there might be a little less going to you, which is going to make you dizzy. <laughs> Does it also make you forgetful? Because that's a thing too. <laughs> yes. Um, so week 18 is the coffee chapter. And basically what this whole chapter is about is about comparing yourself to other parents. Mm. Um, a lot of us get into this trap where we compare ourselves to other parents and think that these other parents have it all figured out because we're just seeing a little glimpse of their life and how they handle their kids. And we're so insecure about how we're doing it because we know our entire story and how much we struggle <laughs> that um, we do that compare game, right? Yeah. Well, and it usually happens on the day that you just had a bad day with your kid. And you see that parents having the perfect day with their kid and you're like yeah they got together i don't i don't know what i'm doing i need <laughs> professional help <laughs> but uh with that you know you also get you can't get in that trap of thinking like parents know best um because parents should know know best but there's a lot of parents that don't know best and the way i've kind of like decided that i look at it is like you should be the expert on your kid mm -hmm. if you're putting in the time and effort you know like yeah. Because each kid is different and each kid takes a different approach. So my thought is you got to put in, you got to try a lot of different things to see what works best. For that child. Exactly. Um, things that work for Theo do not work for Juno. And things that work for Juno definitely do not work for Theo. And nobody knows what works for Otto yet. So <laughs> we're just figuring all that out. Cuddles. Um, Cuddles work for auto. But anyway, that's it. That's our little tidbit for this week. I hope that's helpful. And oh, look at the puppy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Make sure you comment on this video so that you can get a chance to win an audiobook version of the book, A Dude's Guide to Baby Size, now Ooh. available on our website, dudedad.com. Also available on Amazon and Audible and everywhere you can buy books. <laughs> Mahalo. <laughs>